So on Wednesday, I intercepted these documents from the presidency. Two letters dated the 26th of March. Same day. Same day, 26th March 2024, uh, but with different reference numbers. Mm. Signed by Nana Bidietu Asante, secretary to the president. He signed both letters. Addressed to but the... But let's see the letters. Dear Commissioner General, mm. I'm reading the first one mm. extending... Reverend Dr. Mishadai Usuama, the Commissioner General of the Ghana Revenue Authority's <laughs> mandate for two years. <clears throat> he says, extension of service as Commissioner General of Ghana Revenue Authority. I am pleased to inform you that the President has granted you a two-year extension of service as Commissioner General of the Ghana Revenue Authority from the 11th of October 2021 to 10th October 2023. I take this opportunity to congratulate you on your further extension. Please accept the president's best wishes. So hold on, so hold on, so hold on. The president has. Yes. What? Yes. The president has. Yes. The paragraph has. Two. Has the president has granted you has granted a two year you. extension. And then. On, and the date is 26 March 2024. No, and then the next paragraph says. As Commissioner General of the Ghana Revenue Authority from 11th October 2021 yes. to 10th October 2023. So, okay. retroactive. So, 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 the President on 26th of March, after the fact, yeah. 26th of March, decided yeah. to grant yes. the man extension, extension from 2021 to 2023. to 2023. Yeah, when we are in March 2023. And he decided to take that decision on the 26th of, 26th March, 2024. of March 2024. Okay. And that is not all. And you know, you know why they will have to send two letters mm. under the Constitution. If the president must grant these extensions, he can only do two years. Two years at a so two years at a time, two, two years, years not more year. than two years. Mm. Two years, two years, then one, one year. year. Okay. So you can have a maximum of five, five years. years. So, so this letters, they, they delayed. Yes, this is almost three years after the fact. So 26 March 2024, same day, mm -hmm. the president's secretary signs another letter. Mm -hmm. Further extension, this one is... Further extension of service mm. as Commissioner General. The first one is extension. This one is further extension of service as ah, Commissioner General. So the same General. day, the man got two extensions. Two extensions, yes. Of two and a half years. Y yes. On the same day, yes. after he has served the two and a half years. Yes, after. Okay. What a country, what a government, okay. what a president. Ah, so we could so write... it says further extension. Yeah. I am pleased to inform you that the president has granted you a further extension of service as Commissioner General of the Ghana Revenue Authority from 11th October 2023 to 31st March 2024. I take this opportunity to congratulate you on your further extension. Okay. Please accept the present best wishes. Sign Nana Bidio to Asante, okay. Secretary to the President. But it was on the 27th that we were informed yes. that he's been relieved yes. of his appointment. Yes. And same day, 27th, we were informed of the appointment of the yes, lady. Yes, of the lady. Okay. Yes. And you see, a civil society group mm -hmm. announced last week their leader is uh, Atik Mohammed. Okay. That they are going to court okay. to test the law. Okay. That the 27 months that Reverend Amish Adai has been in office, mm. should he be entitled to all the salaries, all the mm. uh, privileges that he has mm. enjoyed? Mm. Shouldn't he be refunding them? And what are the legal implications of all the contracts that he signed on our behalf? Mm. Particularly the SML $100 million contract. So they announced, they put out a statement that they are going to court. So this is clearly an effort by the president to clean Reverend Amisha Day up. So not even this, what happened at the Public Accounts Committee. Yes, could stop them. Could make them even write a letter. Yes. I mean, and they waited till 26 March 2024, only last week. And then the following day, they announced that the man has been the man, Yes, the man is, is, is going. To yes. So this is to cover his tracks. And you see, what is worrying is that the country is awaiting the KPM, KPMG report mm. on SML. Mm. I'm sure one of the matters, critical issues, mm. that KPMG will have looked at is whether the man even had capacity. In fact, at the time contract. the president appointed, uh, at the time KPMG yeah. was appointed by the president, yeah. To go into these things, yeah. the president had not legitimized the man's exactly. Job. He has yes, he has not. He has, he has it. So why are you doing this now? Why? So you want to just make nonsense of everything? Um, just clean the man up, cover his tracks. Well, what kind of governance? Is no, this? but why would any government?
keep somebody at a job yeah. for two and a half years yes. without doing what the law says he yes. should do. Yeah. Why did he stay on? What business did Reverend Amisha Dai have staying in that office all these years? I'm trying to you see, I'm trying to I'm trying and, to reconcile and, this and, with, with the efforts that was made in hounding out the Molevo. Yes. At yes. least the Supreme Court has told us. Yes. Yeah. That despite all the legal jargons and all the grammar and those letters that yeah. were written, yeah. it was not granted yeah. in law. Yeah. Fantastic. Even telling him to take his accumulated leave and all of yeah. that. They couldn't wait to get rid of him. I remember a line in that letter that suggested that he Domelevo is not a lawyer. Yeah. So he could he cannot be lecturing or speaking yeah. about the law. Yeah. I mean, I mean look at this. Anyway. Hmm. Right. Well, the clearly it doesn't look tidy mm -hmm. for appointment letters to be written two years after the appointment. It doesn't look tidy. Um, and so we hope that things will be better. But um, the way Sami Okujeto is going on politicizing the issue, what the president... Always you want to share blame. Me, what blame do I have in this? No, no. Am I the one asking your no, president to... Yeah, but, sir, but you said... Clean people up. You said this what the president... And horrible man. What the government... Yeah. I'm saying that. Are you proud of your government? These things you people are doing. Are you proud but of But if I don't finish speaking, how will you know what I'm proud of? <laughs> now, the... You want to blame the, me the for reason, everything. I'm not, no, you are blaming. I'm saying that mm. it's, it's not time. Mm. Nobody would be happy about appointment letters being written two years after the appointment. But the way you are going about it like is some what the president, what the government, indicting the whole government is not fair. The reason why I say it's not fair is that I'll read to you something that um well is quite sure for soup. You don't get he said that. Letters with retroactive effect. Mm -hmm. He was responding to somebody called Collins. I don't know who that is. He said, mm -hmm. Master Collins, you of all persons cannot join the bandwagon of ignorance. Letters with retroactive effect are very, very normal in government and public admin. Mm -hmm. The letter appointing me as an aide to former President Mahama from January 2017 to January 2021 was written to me two clear years after I had started work. Mm -hmm. When I was reappointed after the expiration of the first four years, mm -hmm. the letter confirming my reappointment mm -hmm. was written in September last year mm -hmm. and states that the appointment took effect from January mm -hmm. 2021 mm -hmm. and ends in January 2025. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, if you try and portray one government as what it is not fair. Are you saying that this is an, this is an no. appointment letter uh, by no, no, this a, a person in government? No. What Felix wrote, if this is true, is, this is yeah, he's talking about mm -hmm. aid to the former, former president. president. Let, let so, he was, so, so it means it was written now under this government. Let, let me, yes, yes. Let, yeah, let, let, this me, let me write yeah. here. Let me read. Letters with retroactive effect are very, very normal. Mm. But I hope this is this is authentic. Yeah, but it, even if, if no, if it's it's not let, let's let's. He yeah. says that letters with retroactive uh, effect is because hear some from, of like to hear from are, Felix on this. are very, very normal in government and public administration, mm. which I don't agree. I mean, why would, why would you write letters with retroactive So if you, don't, if you don't agree, why are you using no, it? No, it's because Samuel Kujeto is going on about what the government... What the so let me ask you a question, Nana, uh -huh. on this one. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Felix, the, is he appointment, no, the appointment of people after they've attained the age of 80, 80? 60, sorry, yeah, after yeah. they've attained the age of 60, yeah. is completely different. Completely different. Because yeah. in that one, there is a constitutional provision. provision. Yeah. That if the person attains that age, you can do A, B, C, D. You should do A, B, C, D. Yeah. This is how you should do it. This is how you should do it. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. 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 It is different yeah. from a normal public service thing where we post teachers and health workers and mm -hmm. it takes time to get the, uh, this thing formalized and all those things. What are we talking about? On this we are talking about the president exercising a constitutional responsibility with, with, with yeah. active effects long after the long after we are effect. talking about 
appointment letter. Mm. In fact, the reason why you wrote these letters here yeah. is because those letters took retroactive effect. Yes. yes. That's why you got it. Yes, yes. And and they should have been written. Yeah. Yes. And there Three are, years ago. Yes, and there are matters that this man so, has engaged in during uh, that period, which are the subject uh, of investigation. Yes, yes, no problem. But we are talking about his appointment letters mm. written two years ago. And contracts he has signed, the SML. So we are talking about letters. At the time, he didn't have appoint, capacity appoint, to sign those contracts. We are mm. talking about letters, mm. appoint, making appointments mm. with retroactive effect, mm -hmm. sometimes two years and so on. And we are saying that. It can be tidier. I mean, right. really. But your attempt to ask us to believe that mm. this shows the, the, the presidency is totally not up to it and uh, yeah, but the, what gov you have read the from government is actually worsens your case because well, why, why it's the same Akufuado government that give, is giving him no, belated, belated. Oh, you mean, uh, mean yes. Felix was appointed by the government? Yeah, because he's uh, under the conditions of service yes, of former president. No, no, it's an aid no. to the former president. We, we can't and appoint. Well, he's, he's appointed we, by the former we, president. We, we can't appoint Felix to be aid to. Job. No, but you, you, but. Your, is your, your eagerness to do propaganda no. makes you totally. Now we are the one appointing Felix to it is not, to John Mahama. I mean, what is this? What is this? It is no, so, so now public now, what's, service what's ratification. The, what's, the, what's the? I don't get the relevance. What's the, the, yes. the relevance is that yes. is Felix a retiree? Obviously, yes. obviously, this is a recurrent matter. Then we should make sure it doesn't continue. Mm. But this business of it, 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 what the government, what the president, I'm saying, what's all this for? And it's because also it's something that. But, but, but don't, so, don't, so, don't, so the don't, government don't. announced a policy to parliament. Mm -hmm. That government has decided Which policy? that a policy of not engaging yeah, people, people on, uh, uh, on, uh, who, who have met the age their retirement age. It was oh, really? now Yes, it was announced in parliament yeah. by that, the finance minister. It was in the 2022 budget. Yes. And Pretty subsequently, sure. the Minister of State, now, now Minister of State designate, yes. um, uh, Mrs. Abna Osei, yeah. uh, yes. signed a letter, signed to all, a letter yeah. informing everybody that this is the directive and that they are no longer going to offer contracts. Now, against these two, what was contained in the document to Parliament, and it was part of measures that government said it was going to use to yeah. You know, show the, 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 yeah. yes. the Honorable Abna Osea's letter is dated 5th August 2022. Mm. I have a copy here. It says, uh, Financial Clearance, Contract Appointment. Please refer to the 2022 budget statement and economic policy, which has been submitted and approved by Parliament for the 2022 fiscal year. The Ministry of Finance writes to inform heads of ministries, departments, and agencies and MMDAs of some expenditure policy measures mm -hmm. as outlined in the 2022 budget statement. Paragraph 324 of the 2022 budget statement and economic policy states, quote, government has with immediate effect suspended the granting of approval for post-retirement contract appointments, except in cases where the skills of the retiring officer are in short supply and unavoidably needed, unquote. In view of this, we are unable to grant financial clearance for post-retirement contract appointments at this stage. Please treat as agent, signed Honorable Abna Osaya Sir, Deputy Minister so for the Minister, the or Chief Directors. Mm. Yeah, you are and it is this same period. What was the point? Yeah, so I'm saying that this is clearly what the President communicated to Parliament, yeah. so to the people of Ghana, yeah. that this is the decision that has been yeah. taken. Yeah. Approved the by action Parliament. of the President is contrary to <coughs> what he told us. Yes. Okay. If um, you claim that the appointment of uh, Reverend Emisa Dai mm -hmm. goes contrary to what we've read from the ministry. There's no mind claim. You don't believe it. You don't no, believe one that second. I'm, I'm saying, yes. if that's your claim, mm -hmm. it may be a valid claim mm -hmm. about the propriety mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. That's not to do with the retroactive aspect. It's a different matter. That whether retroactive or not, the appointment goes against policy. Mm -hmm. But if we read the letter that Samuel Kujetu has brought, mm -hmm. it would look like the appointment of this particular gentleman predates mm -hmm. Abena 
Because this appointment is so, from so, 20, 2021. So, 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 and, and the letter is 2020. So, 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 there are two letters. There are two letters. Yeah. So, the letters. second one. Yeah. The further the extension. One. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you can make that point that the second letter, mm -hmm. the second appointment, because that one came after 2022. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but on the matter and, of. The and, then, and then, what are the implications for the agreement he signed, which is a subject of controversy? Oh, well, by, by this letter, which obviously, agreement? government is. Yes, committed. Which, which, agree, which, agree, which agreement? The they're saying that SML, the, the decisions million dollar. that were taken. Yeah. Yeah. So, at, at, this, the, at, the, when at the heart of this is a president see, once again played, trying, that's to, why I went back trying to, to claim play his, what his happened at the sir? public appointments committee. Yeah. But, see, obviously. The man himself, he didn't have an appointment letter at the time. Yes. No. Yeah, obviously. That's, that's why, that's why he couldn't. If he was given this letter, <laughs> yeah. the day he was told that <laughs> yes. he's no longer going no, no, to continue. No, no, exactly. clearly untied. Clearly yeah. untied. And they want to, you know, claim him. But, um, you know, it happened during your time. I mean, well, then, Felix uh, says that it's, it's normal. Just, it's just, I mean, <laughs> a pension to cover up and, you know, I mean,